Role players are urged to come up with innovative ideas to position the country as a destination for cultural and heritage experience, given the two Kavango regions' rich and diverse culture. At present, the Kavango West region is considered as a transit instead of a tourist hub. More should therefore be done by the residents to tap into the tourism value chain in order to ensure that tourists do not just drive through the Kavango West region, but indeed stop, sleep over for a few days and spend money in the local economy that will eventually create jobs. Young people are called upon to become involved and actively participate in the tourism business. A local businessman, Oiva Haipumbu, says the region has investment opportunities in the tourism industry. Marketing with the, what we have that far, what we also need to invest in, so that the potential is really discovered, then we can generate income out of it. Currently, the situation is that uh, the type of tourist we have is we call them, it is a work-related guest travel, whereby they come to Nkurenkuru because they are putting up something, maybe infrastructure they are building, and they slip over, off they go. Or they come because there is an activity like meetings and workshops. To improve and promote capital tourism, the leadership has requested the ministry to set up a tourism information hub in the region. The region has a national park, Mangeti National Park, which currently does not have an accommodation facility. Hence, I'm appealing to Namibian Wildlife Resort, Kondwena Collection and Investor to engage the Ministry of Environment and set up lodges, campsite in our national park. The Kavango West region also has six community forests and one conservancy. The tourism inflow reported that the country recorded 98% increase in international tourist arrivals from 232,756 in 2021 to 461,027 last year.